Adam Young is in for Shania. He joins us with an update, Adam. Yeah, Sarah Tracker in full force here for tonight. Thanks to the folks over at NORAD, which, by the way, got to point out American and Canadian service members up there in Peterson Air Force Base helping to put this on. Go to NORAD, NORADSANA.org or call that phone number. You can actually uh, talk to some of them, and we'll have that up there a few times here for tonight so you can see that number. So it's a pretty cool deal. But right now, flying through Canada, um, on his way, just left Montreal, on his way to uh, Radisson up there in Quebec, uh, delivered over five and a half billion gifts here so far for tonight. And we are actually going to talk to Santa. I do it every year. We're going to talk to Santa. It's actually planned this year. He's not going to call me up at random. We actually plan on talking to him coming up here in a few minutes. Right now at the airport, we're looking at 32 degrees, so finally hitting that freezing mark for this tonight. Northeast winds at about 10 miles an hour, which more than likely means Santa is going to be coming up to the South Plains from the South, so Midland, San Angeles. Uh, Big Bend region, Alpine, all those folks will probably see them here first for tonight. Now for tomorrow, for Christmas Day, looking at temperatures gradually warming up, but only into the mid-40s, plenty of sun to go around. And three-day forecast looks like this with Christmas Day at 47 and the rest of the week into the mid-50s. If I don't fall over there, hopefully we saw that. Uh, but sunny skies pretty much all week long. All right, sounds great. We'll check back in with you for that, that call with Santa here in just a little Sounds bit. Sounds like a plan. All right, thanks so much, Adam.